Hi guys, so yesterday was a busy one, but it was a day off again, but really not really, um, just really productive I guess. Um, yeah, so went to the gym in the morning and that stupid o'clock, 6.30, man, you know, it, it got me out of bed, but I was mashed man, so tired. And then, you know, when you get certain phone calls that just drain you, <laughs> That was me yesterday, so I was just a bit like, you know what, I'm tired from being at the gym. Um, I'm having to sort of like transfer myself in and out of my car and then go to the gym. And then an annoying phone call which just, ooh, grinds my gears. But I mean, yeah, it is what it is. But it was nice as yesterday just to sort of chill and actually rest because I think, I mean, I was trying to power through, be like, yeah, I want to do this, this and this and then... I got through this and then I was like, you know what, KO, need to jam. So yeah, it was nice to sort of just have a day and I think it's so important, so important to schedule in breaks. I think people have been telling me this for years and I have a bit of a superwoman complex and you know, I'll say it in most of my videos just because um, that's who I am and I just, I want to be doing stuff. So if I just power through, I'm like, yo, let's do it. Just like yesterday, I was um, I don't know, I was just so mash up, and I was like, you know, what, actually, I need to, I need to eat, and I was like, I can't be asked to cook, so I'm gonna get takeaway, and it wasn't that bad. Just got some Chinese, like a rice dish, and then like some chicken wings or whatever. So it wasn't huge. It wasn't like I was gorging on Chinese, but um, it was nice. And then actually, I felt a bit more motivated, a bit more whatever. So um, I built. My um, I, I basically I, I ordered this thing online, and it was just, yeah, it was um, it's been sitting in my landing for ages, like a month or something, and I just haven't been had the time to put it together. And it was just nice, you know, building something for myself and building something that actually is functional and is actually goes with the decor or whatever. I mean, not that that, that matters as as long as it's functional for me you know aesthetic is not a big thing but um yeah and it was just nice i think i started late last night maybe they say late last night probably about like three or four no five or six or something had sky disney in the background i was like yo all these disney films from my past i was like yes just yes and yeah it was just nice to sort of um <clears throat> yeah just build with disney in the background and just at a really chill pace, and it was nice. <coughs> Frog in my throat. Actually, it might be sawdust from this morning. Um, so I, I finished off like I kept on falling asleep because I was tired, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna power through as much. So power nap even. Woke up and like, okay, do a few more screws, and then you know, like instruction manuals are mad. I don't know why they tell you to assemble. No, you know what it is. I know what it is. It's because it's for people who are able to stand. So if you can build a section of something and then put it on top of something and then screw it together, then that's great. And if you're a standing person, then it helps that you're tall. When you're sat down in a wheelchair, then it's like, okay, new game plan. So it took me a while, but I figured it out and sort of rearranging stuff. And yeah, it was just kind of cool just to... Yeah, work stuff out and build with my own hands. I say build, it's like flat pack furniture. But I mean, it's, you know, it's screws and stuff. And you know when you go to Ikea and um, you, you buy something and you'll always have like leftover screws and you don't know where the hell they go. So they go in the bin or they float around your house. Anyway, but it was cool. I think, um, yeah, I was very proud. Um, I'll show you a picture or a couple of pictures. So yeah, and then um, it was just really nice to sort of chill and actually rest, let my mind rest. So it was completely not in sort of freelance dance artist world work. I got a few phone calls, but I mean, it's not, and a few emails, but I wasn't invested. And I actually, I invested in the day off. Like I said, it's so important. And I, I realized the importance of it now and actually being able to schedule it in your diary again. You know, people are like, Laura, you're so tardy to the party. But I don't know why I did that. But I mean, you know what I mean? I think 
10 years, 10 years I started dancing and in the chair and you know I was always going at something, doing something but yeah it's just nice to chill <laughs> so we'll see what happens today um, but I'll no doubt make another video and try and make this a daily thing actually but we'll see how it goes okay um, so follow me Laura D Dancers on Facebook, on Instagram and on Twitter I am at it's at x it's all good x I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Google me and um, keep in touch and hashtag Laura D Dancers and um, yeah have a great day and hopefully yeah this will go out live no not live but it'll go out and I'll put it on YouTube and I'm hoping to start a blog on my website and um, all these videos will be there so um, the website will be here but um, just keep in touch I'm sure you google me so my name is Laura L-A-U-R-A -A, and then Dajao D-A-J-A-O with a Spanish J like Jose so it's Laura Dajao and um, just google me and stay in touch alright peace